boss life, y'all. Yeah. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Make sure to hit that like button. Like. Make sure to leave a comment. Made this shit, boy. Yeah, boy. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbaz. Um, this video is gonna be an unboxing uh, package that a YouTuber has sent me. Also, we are gonna be doing this into like we're gonna be having this video. We're gonna have this video be sort of a small vlog where I'm gonna go throughout the day, maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow, and we are gonna get stuff that we need for the Civic, just to keep this car safe on the road before we start our Mad Max build. Um, I have you guys on this side pointed out in this direction because I do have parts laying around for the Mad Max build that I don't want you guys to see. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started unboxing this. This package was sent over from Overspray. Um, the link is going to be down below. So you guys can go ahead, check him out, give him a follow, and check out all his paint videos. I mean, he's got a lot of really good paint videos. And he's really good at laying paint also. And what I like about his videos is that he will compare guns. And he'll put one gun versus the other gun. So make sure you guys check out that video that I have in the description down below and give him a follow let him know that you guys were sent over there by me either way this is a really nice box that he sent this in let me show it to you guys it's got a picture of a spray gun on there we're gonna go ahead and crack it open and check what's inside Oh yeah, I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark, but I promise the rest of the day we will be outside and we'll be in the light. Let me see what we have here. So the first thing I notice is the container that holds the paint. This guy right here. I'm very familiar with this. It looks just like my other ones. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. And we have a gun in here. This is actually a really nice gun. Oh yeah. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using this to lay the paint on the fenders, on the hood, and on the front bumper. Of the two of the 96 Honda Civic that I have this is a GTI Pro super um, I believe he has a video shooting paint with this gun so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this for that paint job thank you Chris if you're watching this thank you so much for this um, this is probably the best gun that I have now in my collection and I will definitely will be using it and I will keep this very safe and make sure that it's good for all my paint jobs. So thank you very much. So here's the gun. You know what, let me take the camera outside. So check it out. This is a really nice gun. Either way, 
thank you, Chris, for sending that out. Um, really appreciate you. And guys, please check out his YouTube channel. The link is down below. We are gonna go ahead and we have to get some wipers for the Civic because these wipers are kind of bad. So we're gonna be replacing those. Another thing is the washer fluid is not working on this. So we're gonna have to probably remove this front bumper to get to the little uh, reservoir where the little pump sits in. But once we completely do that, we will start modifying the Civic for the Mad Max build, which I already have parts for, which will probably be my next video after this one. So please hit the like button if you have not. And if you guys have any questions or anything, comment down below. That all helps the channel. And we are gonna be heading to the store right now. Man, this is a hard choice. There's so many of them. I need a 22 and a 26. So I'm gonna go with one of these right here. 26. I'm back at the house. Today's a whole different day. And I went ahead and I put the new wipers on. And right now what I gotta do is I gotta get to the reservoir for the windshield washer because the pump is not pushing the liquid up to the window. So I'm gonna have to most likely jack this side up and see if I could get underneath. If not, I'm gonna have to remove this bumper out a little bit to get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to rush through this because it's pretty cold out right now. It's like 33 or 34 degrees. But you guys can see that this reservoir is kind of hidden back there. And the only way to get to it is either from behind here, underneath, or to pull the bumper out. So I got to the pump down here and it's not working at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and plug it into this one to see if it works. This one is from the EK. So I don't know, it looks like the pigtails are the same. So hopefully it works on here. I'm gonna go ahead and get her plugged in. So I got this one plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key and see if, if it makes a noise. You guys tell me, I'm gonna leave you right here. I can definitely hear it from the inside of the car. So we're gonna try to see if this pump will actually fit on here. I'm gonna try to pull this one out and see if we could rig this one on there. I got the pump disconnected and it is completely different. As you guys can see, this is the hole that sucks up the water and then this is the hole that sucks up the water. So they're completely different. So we're either gonna have to fix it or I'm gonna have to pull the bumper out and see if somehow I could retrofit this one on there, modify it on there to fit onto this Civic. This isn't the way to fix this, but it could be fixed using this, this other one. Um, and of course it could be fixed using that one because this is gonna be the Mad Max build. So anything goes. Bumper is completely off. I did spill some of the washer fluid. You guys can see right there. But it's looking pretty cool without a front bumper. Especially if we're gonna be doing the Mad Max conversion on this. 
We could probably leave it without a front bumper at some point. So this is the one that I just pulled off of there. And this is the one that I'm trying to put in there. You guys can see the hole is completely different for the little uh, motor that goes in there. The only way that this one can fit on there is if I put it backwards, which then would put my mounting points on the wrong side. But maybe I could zip tie it into place because it does fit all the way through. And I'm going to go ahead and install the little motor in here and try to shove it in there and see if, uh, if I can secure it. So for those of you wondering, this is how this is going to see on the top. I went ahead and I drilled a hole through the lid of this reservoir and then this one connected to this one. So then it goes all the way through and then it clicks right here, creating a seal. And then once it goes all the way through, it's back at the top again. And all I do is fill it up and it goes all the way through and it's nice and sealed right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zip tie it in there and set the car back down. So everything's in place. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this, get it completely off because I am gonna need room for the bigger tires once they go in there. And also this whole bottom piece I think I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that one completely. Alright, I'm kind of digging the no bumper. Um, you guys can see all the clearance now that I have on here. So I could really like trim this if I needed to. I could probably trim it like way up here, come down, maybe off that way, and completely eliminate a big chunk of this so my bigger tire can fit in there. But you guys can see that there's a lot of space under there right now especially when it gets lifted and everything and like i said i'm kind of digging how it's looking without the bumper except the only thing that i would do is probably lay some black paint and get everything nice and blacked out even the the front little bumper that's going across and maybe put some speed holes on it i'm not sure yet but I'm going to go ahead and put the bumper back on. And you guys tell me. What do you guys think? Should we leave the bumper off? Because it does give it a lot more clearance. Especially in the front area. Or is this something that we should do later on? Either way, I'm going to go ahead. Throw the bumper back on. And you guys let me know. And this is going to probably be the end of the video. Um, I am going to start a new thing for you guys, so whenever you guys see a picture go up, you guys will have will be allowed one guess at that picture. If you guess correctly, your comment will be pinned and you will win a prize. So that's a new thing that I'm starting and yeah, I will catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later. Like button, like, make sure they that like button, like, make sure to leave a comment.